When we usually hear the word da'wah, the definition that comes to mind is an invitation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or a call to Islam. And it is important for all of us to recognize that this is an obligation upon all Muslims, not just the Imams and the scholars and those that are more educated. This is something that anybody could do, whether you are in middle school or in university or at, in your work field. And it is important for us to understand the hadith that says, which is inform or educate others even if it's as simple as one verse. And it is important for us to let others be aware of what Islam truly is, especially because of what's going on in today's society. For example, the negative connotations that Islam always has in the media or the references that are made to Islam in such a, an aggressive manner which does not allow people to see the beauty of Islam. And this being said, I think we should also realize that we should give da'wah to others in the best of manner, in a very soft way, in a gentle way. And the only reason why I'm saying this is because once I was at Salat al-Jama'ah and I was sitting, you know, trying to listen attentively and all of a sudden this older lady comes out of nowhere and she pulls my hands away from each other. I basically had my fingers interlocked and she pulled them away from each other and she just gave me a very dirty look and then she went back and had her seat. And I was really surprised. I didn't know if that was makruh or if it was something wrong to do when you're listening to the Juma sermon or it was just something inappropriate. And she never came back to me and explained why she did that. Now that, I think, is a very um, negative way of giving da'wah to others. So, and so basically you have to learn your way about how to do it and go about it in a very uh, gentle manner. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ قَوْلًا مِّمَّنْ دَعَا إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ Which basically means, who is better in speech than one who calls to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, works righteousness, and says, I'm of those who bow in submission. There's four different things that I would like to say about this ayah. Number one is that it is important for us to recognize that it is an honor to be a da'iyah. Not everybody has the honor to be a da'iyah. So if you are a da'iyah, it's an honor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you should respect that and recognize it. Number two is that if you look at the meaning of the ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes from specific to general. He says, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مِنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ Da'a ila Allahi wa amila salihan. Da'a ila Allah refers to the call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in general. And then the righteous deeds. So here the specific is that da'wah is a righteous deed. And it's something that we should all recognize and we should all partake in. The third thing that I would like to mention is amila salihan, which is righteous deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is letting us know that if you are to be a da'iya or if you are to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is very important for you to have specific manners, to have the best character possible. And so that way you can be effective in your da'wah. And that being said, we should recognize that as da'iyas, you're actually a role model and others will actually follow your actions and steps. Whether you say them or not, they're out there anyways. The last thing that I wanted to say is that actions are more effective than words. It is very important for us to recognize that we can go around giving speeches and talks at different masajid, at youth conventions and conferences, but that will not be effective if our actions don't follow it, or our actions are not basically similar to what we're saying. And so if you carry yourself in the best manner possible, then you are more likely to affect people than just saying speeches and then going around and doing whatever you want that is inappropriate. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Rasulullah wa sallam says, for Allah to guide one man through you is better for you than all that the sun shines on. And when I think of that hadith, I recognize that Allah subhanahu wa the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam is basically letting us know that da'wah is very important. And even if it's one person, if you guide them, whether it's to convert to Islam or even to start becoming more practicing or to recognize the importance or the purpose of life is more important than everything else that we go through. It's, very, it's more important than all what the world carries and what the world has, whether it's obsessions or materialistic you know, um, connections or all these different things that all the younger youth worry about. It is more important to call to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to make the youth aware of what's there beyond what we see every single day and what we're um, obsessed and connected to. I have different ways that I think that we could practice da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first one is that it is very important for us to concentrate on knowing how to balance between our own character and giving da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, being da'yas. We can't sacrifice one on behalf of the other. So it goes vice versa. You have to have good manners and you have to be able to day or to call people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the right way. The second point that I wanted to say is that some of us may feel overwhelmed to become very active with everything around us or to be part of all the associations around us. But, but Mass Youth has provided for us simple projects in which you can become involved in a very light way. It is da'wah to Allah when you're part of Mass Youth Give, when you're giving to the community, or you're involved in Mass Youth Revive, or even Olympics. In a way, it is da'wah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We just have to look at it from different lens. And also, we have to recognize that this da'wah is not just to non-Muslims, but it is to our own community as well. So we have to do it on the inside and out. And lastly, it is very important, and it is one of the most important tools that you could have, a vital tool, I should say, to learn the right way of giving da'wah to others. We can't be aggressive, we can't force things down or shove things down people's throats. We have to find the gentle, positive way of giving da'wah to others and giving advice because I think that's very important for us to get our word across or to affect other people in general. Jazakumullah khairan wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.